Good morning. You are right on time. So this live is going to be fun because it's all makeup that I'm literally obsessed with right now. And as people are joining, oh my God, good morning. How are you feeling? Good morning. Mitch isn't here today. So I'll tell him he said good morning. Mitch had to go to work today. He's usually sitting right next to me, helping me out and He's not here today. I'm really sad about it, to be honest. I'm very, very sad. I can't decide if I want to put my hair completely back because I'm going to put some glowy, slightly messy products on my face. Good morning, Massachusetts. Gosh. Okay. I'm going to wait a couple seconds so you guys can jump on. Hi, Carly. Good morning. Carly, you always bring the energy. Just to start um, and keep it like true to the theme of like makeup products that I'm obsessed with. This has been my go-to sunscreen for the last like two weeks. I can't stop using this. It's the Artless Glow Base SPF 50 PA++++ by Hymish. And my God, it's just so good. Like if you ever wonder why my skin is extra glowy, it's because of that. So anyway, how's everyone doing? You guys all having a good morning or afternoon? I feel so lonely without Mitch here. Like literally I feel so lonely. I know I have you guys, but I'm so lonely. It's sad. Um, I'm gonna get this party started because as we all know, these lives go by in like 2.5 seconds. Um, if you guys missed it though, it's the Heimish Artless Glow. Everything will be Listed after I, I finish my live, I'll make sure I list everything for you all. So if you missed it, don't worry. It will all be there. Oh my God, it's midnight your time. That is crazy. But thank you for joining me, even though it's midnight your time. That's amazing. Oh my God, from South Africa. Okay, I'm going to get into it because I could literally read your guys' comments like the whole day and then I want to get any makeup done and that would be a shame. So let's get into it. Since my skin is prepped, I can now go in to my final pre-foundation product before I get into like my foundation. And the foundation I'm gonna use just in case you're wondering, I'm obsessed with this still, so that had to be, I had to include this for this video. It's the EXA High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation. I still can't remember the name, like the full name to save my life, but you know, here we are. So to start though, I'm gonna add extra glow with the Kosas Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancers. You guys, I picked these up on Friday after work and I, I had to stop myself from buying every single shade because they're so pretty and every single one I touched, I was like, I could easily find a client in my makeup, like that I would use this each color on my in my makeup kit on. Those are really, roundabout way of saying I could have used every single color in my makeup kit, but <laughs> we got there. <laughs> I'm going to use on myself the Radiate shade. I got two shades. I'm definitely going to go back and get more. I have Illuminate and Radiate. So Illuminate is the sheer light medium champagne. This one's a little more cool toned, so it's not going to be like the best for me. Like I have like a more warm um, olive undertone. Contrary to what some people have told me recently online, which I think is so hysterical that people will argue with me. Like someone was arguing with me like what my, they wanted me to show them what my vein color was. And here's the thing, like I'm covered in tattoos where like most of my veins are. So it's pretty hard to like really be able to like totally tell, you know, but I also know what my vein color was before I got tattoos back in the day. So I know that I have green, green veins, which, in reality makes you more of a warm undertone. Long story short, I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna try not to get on tangents today because I don't have Mitch here to reel me in and he usually is really good at like reeling me in when I like get lost on a tangent. So I'm gonna stop myself there. <laughs> I'm glad you agreed that I'm Olive, thank you. Um, I'm gonna wear the shade Radiate. So Radiate is a sheer medium golden, which is perfect, perfect for me. And I'm gonna pump this out on my little painter's palette you guys can't really see, but it's down here. I I did apply this um, yesterday with my fingertips and it goes on great with your fingertips. You can apply it both ways. 
but I don't want to get this all over my fingers and my rings. Oh gosh, I missed a question already. See, I'm already feeling like, oh, I want to answer all your questions, but I know it's not going to be possible if I'm alone. The good thing about these lives though, you guys, is once they're uploaded, which is right after the fact, right after I finish them, you can ask me a, like re-ask me your question if I missed it, ask me again in the comments of this live. And that way I'll be able to easily see it. It's much easier for me to see than a DM, for example, because DMs, I just have so many. It's whew, crazy. So leave me your question if I didn't get to it. Like I know I just missed one about the Givenchy powder and I want to answer it really badly. So leave it again for me in the comments on this live once it's uploaded and I promise you, I promise you I will get to it. So I'm applying this with a KVD 25 brush. This is a really good multitasking brush. <clears throat> yeah, so Lola, you can definitely, that's like one of the most traditional ways you can decipher what your under your skin's undertone is, is by looking at your veins. So let's say you have blue veins, you're gonna be more of a cool undertone. And these are like, you know, loosely speaking, they're not gonna be like a hard, a hard for sure, if that makes sense. Like they're not gonna always be completely 100% accurate. There's always gonna be exceptions. So take them with a grain of salt. But I have found in my career that they are pretty true to what they say they are. So if someone has blue veins, they, they typically are more of a cool um, undertone. So more pink, have a little more red in their, in their skin tone. They burn easy in the sun, things like that. And if you are have green um, veins, like I do, you're gonna have more of like an olive complexion, more you're gonna be leaning towards and wearing more warm tone colors and foundation colors. So like things that have more golden hues to them, less pink, less red. I'm, uh, I know I'm kind of half explaining this, but I'm also trying to get this Kosas liquid IV on my skin and make it nice and even. So I, I do want to talk about this because this product like wowed me so much, you guys. Hi, Adrian. Good morning. Um, this product wowed me so, so much. I can't even tell you. Like I was like full on expecting it to be like a overhyped product. And then I went to Sephora. I swatched a whole bunch. The salesperson that was helping me was so helpful. Like she literally like pulled out all the samples and was like helping like put them on my arm. Like so, so sweet. Um, I actually wanted to buy every color just for that reason alone because she was so helpful. But they are just so stunning and they're so easy to use. So I like them because instead of being like a liquid illuminator or like a highlighter where it leaves your skin like overly dewy and like really kind of like borderline <clears throat> greasy. I hate to use that word, but greasy. This actually will dry down. So if you touched my skin right now, it feels semi dry to the touch. Like it's like, it has a little bit of like a tackiness to it, almost like a, the feeling of a primer, but it's pretty much dried down. And so I like it because when I, I noticed when I put my foundation on top, which I'm about to do right now, it, it didn't like slip and slide around on my face, which I can't stand that feeling. I digress. <laughs> I'm going to do um, one pump of this EXA foundation now on top. And I actually left a little bit leftover of that um, Kosas Glow IV because I'm going to save it for later when I'm done with the rest of my makeup. And I'm going to see how it plays on top of foundation just to like really fully test it out for you all. So guys, I know I'm missing so many questions. Oh my God. Oh. Please leave me these questions in the comments and I promise you I will get to them. I'm just wanting to at least get a good look on for you guys and sometimes it's hard to answer questions and to read at the same time. Also, I need glasses to like really read otherwise I have to like stop and not move. <laughs> um, my painter's palette that I showed you is, what's the brand? It's worn off. It's a painter's palette that was created, I know, by like a makeup artist and it is sold primarily at beauty supply stores in LA and Los Angeles where I am. 
but I know you could probably find it online. I'll try to find the name of it. And if I do find it, I will make sure I put it in the description box. Carly, what, what was your question? I'm so sorry. I know I missed a couple. I'm gonna try to read a couple of questions that I missed. So feel free to ask me again. And in the meantime, I'm just buffing onto my skin, the EXA foundation and with a BK Beauty 106 brush. You're probably more warm if you don't. In my experience, cool tones don't wear a warm bronzer too well. Yes, that's true. Nikki, did you try the e.l.f. Halo Glow? Yes, I did. I, I don't know why I haven't done, like played with it in a video yet. I, I need to kind of get on it. I kind of bought it. And by the time I got it, because it was always out of stock, by the time I got it, I was like kind of over it. I'll, I'll get to it, I promise. But I got the shade three and four in the, in the e.l.f. The 106 is by far my favorite too. Okay, so Lola, you burn easily and you turn into a lobster at first and then go on tan, LOL, but, oh gosh. You know, Lola, you might be a neutral. So check out your veins, see if you could find blue and green, because if you're saying that you burn initially, but then you turn golden, you might be neutral. Because if you just, the fact that you turn golden after you burn makes me think that you might be a neutral. So there's also neutrals out there, believe it or not. You could have both veins running through your body. Um, but Carly, back to the e.l.f. Halo Glow. It is really nice. It's it's pretty much just like the Charlotte Tilbury. And I use the Charlotte Tilbury in my makeup kit all the time, like every, every day, pretty much on clients. So let's get into concealer. I'm gonna grab two products that I just can't stop using. So there are two products that I really am obsessed with. I love the way they look on my skin. I love the coverage that they give me and I like combining the two of them. And so the two products I'm talking about are NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Honey. This has more of a pink undertone to it, which should not be okay for my, my undertone. But here's where some rules need to be broken with makeup. This pink undertone looks beautiful and helps to color correct the purple pigmentation under my eyes. So that's why I like to use it, even though it's not on paper the correct undertone for me. I don't like a yellow tone under my eyes at all. Not at all. Does not suit me personally. But I'm going to start with the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Bright Forecast. This also has a slight pink hue to it, but it's a lot lighter than my skin tone. So I'm gonna use this first as like my, my brightener slash color corrector. Oh, Carly, Carly, where's your sister at? Where is she getting married? What's, who's the makeup artist? Give me the details. Any recommendations for SPF? I'm oily, I want something to wear under makeup. If you're, if the oil bothers you, maybe try the, um, Maybe try the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. But also, God, what's that one brand that I used to use all the time? You guys will probably remember. Oh gosh, it's a Korean beauty brand. What is the name of it? Oh my God, I'll remember it and I will link it, but there's one that's more mattifying that you would definitely love. So I'll try to remember the name, what was it? Do you guys remember what, what sunscreen I'm talking about? I've used it, oh, Mi Misha? Misha. Thank you. Deborah remembered. Misha. Use the one that's in the, has like a, a green lid to it. That one is really nice. It's just a straightforward, really good SPF. It's going to give you a little bit of moisture, but in a really lightweight way. So it's not going to feel like super greasy or oily on your skin. So try that one or try the Unseen from Supergoop because that's just like a, that just feels like a primer on your skin. <laughs> I hope that helps. So I'm just tapping in that first product with a slightly damp sponge. This one's from e.l.f. Came in like that three pack. It's like 12 bucks, super good deal. So now I'm gonna go in with the Radiant Creamy Concealer in Honey. I'm gonna go over the same places that I just applied the Bright Forecast. And listen, this is where I like a lot of coverage. I like my under eyes to be like very flawless and high coverage, but not in like a shape tape kind of way, like that shape tape concealer kind of way. 
more in like a layered, brightened effect. What loose powder do you recommend for India humid weather for brides? Huda, one size. Huda is amazing for like humidity. I've heard, I he I've heard it's just great for humidity. I would definitely, I would pair it with a primer. Like primer, humidity is like the only time I will really, really bust out a primer because that's when it's like the most useful in my opinion, like as a makeup artist anyway. So like I did a wedding in Mexico last year and I busted out the Milk Hydro Grip Primer for my bride and for the bridesmaids and the mother of the bride. And my God, that, you put foundation on top of that stuff and it's like, it's like sticks to it. It's intense, like very, very intense. Huda powder for sure. I'm oily and I live in Florida. <laughs> so you know, you know humidity if you live in Florida. Okay, so, but also just a side note, I have a follower that was talking to me on Instagram and she was telling me that she lives in Florida in you know a high humid climate and that this soft matte powder from NARS works incredibly well. I think she was more referring to it being like a good touch up powder. So maybe keep this in mind for that client of yours. Maybe pair it with, you know, like on top of the Huda Beauty loose powder. Okay, so guys, I'm not obsessed with these. So I'm not gonna be using this these for this video. I have had a really hard time. This one is good, I will say, like the Peach Pop is definitely really pretty and this one is easier to blend on, but I'm so sad because Pillow Talk, like the Shade Pillow Talk, I know these all say Pillow Talk, but the Shade Pillow Talk, this one is really runny. And like, I've tried like shaking it up. I've tried to, I've tried different like application techniques, but this one is just really, really like watery and the first couple times I tried, I was like, okay, this is just my fault. Like maybe I just need to like mix it up more, like shake it up. No, this one is like really, really hard to control. It separates my makeup underneath. It just kind of goes everywhere. Like, so I'm not obsessed with these. I'm not gonna be using them for this video because like I said, we're keeping this like authentic to product set. I am like truly, truly obsessed with. So with that said, I kind of want to mix my two go-tos. I want to do, I know you're probably tired of seeing me use these, but in case you're not, I really want to use these. It's Bubble and Teddy from Persona Cosmetics. These are just so stunning. And I really like to kind of play with both of them and add, I like to cocktail them is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to apply Teddy first. And I'm just going to dip my Zoeva 135 Petite Face Definer into Teddy. Now Teddy is like a really beautiful, like warm, neutral, almost like a brown. I need to try Mora. Mora, am I saying that right? Okay, definitely leave me a comment and tell me that again so I remember because I'll definitely check it out. I'll, I'll check out that brand, especially if they're an LA brand, I wanna check them out. So I'm just tapping this into my cheeks my favorite West Atelier product is definitely their blushes. Their blushes are just stunning. They're so stunning. But I also love the cream highlighters. They come in like a, a compact. Um, Carly, for foundation for the wedding, definitely do something long wearing. Um, I don't know which ones you have in your collection. Let me know which ones you have and I'll tell you, I'll help you narrow, narrow it down as far as like which one to use for that day. But off the top of my head, I know that I love the Dior Backstage Face and Body because it's a water resistant, long wear, sweat resistant formula. I use that a lot on like, I work with a lot of like fitness people, like fitness trainers that shoot fitness programs and stuff. And I think that's a really great formula for the ones that tend to sweat more. Um, speaking of fitness trainers, I have a very, very intense three weeks coming up, almost four weeks coming up. I will be waking up at 4 a.m. Monday through Friday until uh, mid mid to end, like towards end of March. Um, I'm starting a almost month long block with one of my clients. She's a really, really big fitness trainer. Um, she works for Beachbody, in case you guys do Beachbody. She's a super trainer and we're doing a whole new program. So I'm gonna be just waking up at the crack of dawn, literally at 4 a.m. And I need to be on set, like at set at 5.15 in the morning to get her up and ready to start shooting. So 
it's gonna be a, uh, I'm gonna be very tired, <laughs> basically. I'm gonna be very tired for the next month. And um, I'm not gonna be wearing much makeup either, I'm not gonna lie. So normally, like if I have my call time on set, if my call time is like, you know, 6.30, 7 a.m., really 7 a.m. If it's, if it's like 7 a.m. or later, which is not that often, I will put like a decent amount of makeup on because I like to just be ready for the day. But if my call time is like before 6 a.m., I'm gonna be showing up with my eyebrows, maybe mascara and sunscreen, that's it. So I'm gonna be fresh faced for like the next month. But yeah, it's gonna be intense. I'm it's definitely gonna be a lot, a lot of early mornings. 5.15 is definitely brutal, like brutal. Brittany, you know, I've, I've brought you on so many like crazy early call times for photo shoots. Brittany's my assistant and my bestie in case you missed that. Um, I know, Brittany, it's like, oof, man, I'm gonna be like a zombie. That's why I was hoping we can meet up and get coffee too, like one of the days. Okay, so I'm gonna stop applying this blush. I, I can't help myself, like this blush is just so pretty. This is Bubble, I just layered it on top of Teddy. So I have the two of them on right now. And before I go and set my under eyes, I'm just gonna tap this onto the bridge of my nose. This just brings in like really warmth, like really pretty warmth and just like healthy balance to the center of my face, which I think I really need. Like, you know, just wakes up my face a little bit better. Actually, before I powder my face, let me grab the bronzer that I'm legit obsessed with right now. This cream bronzer from NARS in Laguna is so pretty. It's <sighs> ridiculous. Like, like I needed another cream bronzer in my life. I really did not. But this one is so good. I can't stop using it. Like I, I have so many that I love. Like, you know, I love my Fenty Matchstick and Mocha. It's one of my all time favorites. I love the makeup by Mario. Um, I always forget the name of this. So I think it's a soft sculpt. Yeah, soft sculpt shaping stick. I love that too, but man, this has been my go-to. So the way I like to apply this is with more of a fluffy brush, believe it or not, because I like to go on really natural and this is actually really, really pigmented. And so by using a slightly bigger brush, I just noticed that it just kind of melts it onto my face really easy and really quickly. So I'm gonna apply it with a BK Beauty 107 brush. This also makes a great blush brush, just FYI. And I'm gonna try not to get the blonde hair now. I never had this problem with applying bronzers close to my hairline because I have like black hair, like close to black hair. But ever since I put this blonde streak, like right here, I now, I understood before, but now I fully understand the pain that like my blonde clients have with getting bronzer in their hairline. Like once you get bronzer or just makeup in general, like even just foundation in your blonde hairline, first of all, it's so hard to get out. And second of all, you just can't help but notice it. It's like blatant, you know, you can't really hide it. Anyway. I have light skin. I use NARS Laguna bronzer in powder form. I thought it went too dark. Oh, I missed, oh, here it is, okay. I thought it went too dark, but I am probably doing something wrong in my application. I really want to like it. You have light skin. I think you're probably just putting too much on because I definitely have used Laguna on like pretty fair skin, um, pretty fair skin types, I should say, in my makeup kit. But if it's, if you're still feeling like it's just too dark, I would definitely switch to something lighter. Um, I think they make one shade lighter than the one I'm using right now. So maybe pick that one up instead. It might be just easier for you. Because if you're having a hard time, there's there's nothing harder to blend out than cream bronzer or powder bronzer if it's too dark. So just avoid that and get a lighter shade. It'll be much, much easier. So now that that is on my face, I'm gonna switch to a 207 brush from BK Beauty. It's like a fluffy pencil brush basically. Best everyday lipstick for a light, cool skin tone. Everything pulls orange on me. Gosh, that's a good question. Cause I'd have to like see your lips. You know what I mean? Cause it's hard to like, I know what you're talking about. I know what problem you're having and I totally understand it. Let me think. 
light natural. Maybe try Adrian from Chanel. It's like the first one that pops in my head. Purpley pink. And by the way, if you're still learning, speaking of still learning, Mitch and I were up late last night editing a video that we're gonna post next Saturday, which is actually my new um, posting schedule. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've been posting only on Saturdays now and then doing my lives on Sunday, like we're here right now. But um, the video I'm really, really excited about because it is, I think it's gonna be very helpful. It's all about makeup tips and techniques for people that don't wear makeup. So like the non-makeup wearers out there that still wanna have like a little something. I just want like a general guide of like what they should do or like where to start. That video is gonna be all for you. And I also think it's just gonna be helpful for beginners out there. So stay tuned for that. If you're still learning, it's gonna be a really helpful and informative video. It's a long one, I'm gonna warn you. It's a lot of information, but I think it's gonna be really helpful. So I just lined my lips with the bronzer. This is one of my favorite tricks that I do on both myself and like every single client that sits in my chair, I will do this to their lips. And it's like, was it chef's kiss? It's literally like chef's kiss. So now that my creams are on, like all my creams are on, I'm going to set my under eyes and I'm gonna bring it back to the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. This is the shade Cupcake. They recently sent me another, um, a refill on this, which I was so stoked about because this has been out of stock for God knows how long like in Sephora and at like the professional beauty supply stores that I shop at in LA. So I'm thrilled to have this back in my life, needless to say. But I am gonna be putting this in my makeup kit soon. So I'm not gonna be dipping my sponge into this um, net of powder. And so I'm gonna tap some off or pour some out, I should say, into a tissue. So hold on one second, I just have to tap this off. Okay, you can't see it, but it's below me right now. And now I'm going to dip my little mini Huda Beauty heart-shaped powder puff into the powder. But before I actually powder my under eyes, I'm just gonna buff out any creases that might've happened since there was a long gap in time between applying my concealer and now setting it. Oh my gosh, no, Amanda, I have not done my giveaway yet. I literally just walked by the bag of stuff yesterday and I cringed because I was like, oh my God, I forgot about this giveaway. I'm going to do it this week because I have, well, I have one day off this week that I'm off early from work and um, I'm going to try to bust it over to, well, I'm going to try to pick a winner first and then I'm going to try to send it out in the same week and get it all done in one week. So stay tuned. I think I'm gonna do it on my Instagram, but let me know what platform you think is, is better. If you want me to do it on YouTube, let me know. Okay, so now I'm just powdering around my mouth. I'm gonna powder my T-zone. Let me dump out some more of this powder because I'm running low. What is everyone up to today? Are you guys relaxing? I always wanna hear like what you guys are what you guys are doing on a Sunday. If you have to work today, like Mitch. <laughs> this powder puff is from um, Huda Beauty. They sent it to me in PR. It's so cute. Brittany, you say Instagram is better, okay. Maybe I'll do a poll, actually. That's probably a better idea. I'll do a poll and see. I'll get like a, a good range of like what you guys think is better for the giveaway. So now that my under eyes are set and powdered, I'm gonna go back to another product that I'm still so obsessed with. It's the Pink Dior Blush. It's the shade 001 Pink. This is like, you know, a viral product at this point. Like everyone loves this blush. I'm obsessed with it. It's so pretty. Dinner with a girl girlfriend, Oh, lucky. I wish I was having dinner with some girlfriends. So I'm just gonna put this on top of my cream blush, which is gonna help to set it and like lock it down into place, but it's also gonna just enhance that pink. Cooking for Super Bowl, family gathering. Oh, that sounds like fun. I keep forgetting it's the Super Bowl today. Carly, you're working. Oh, I'm sorry, girl, that sucks. 
or not, you know, go get your money. That's great. I heard something about cupcakes. Okay, so blush is officially done. Now I'm gonna go back to that KBD 25 brush and that little bit of Kosas highlighter that I had left over on my painter's palette. Now I'm gonna tap it on top of my cheekbone. Okay, so this is definitely easy to layer, which is good. That means it's like a good multitasking product. So you can put it on top of your makeup, underneath like I showed you earlier. And I will definitely check my IG. And then you can also, I would assume, mix into your foundation too. So like, it's just a good, well-rounded liquid illuminator. But like, how pretty is that? It's insane. Okay, speaking of rain, someone said that, someone mentioned that it's raining where they're at. I feel you. Did you guys, or did any of you watch my video yesterday that I posted? It was, um, I make it mistakes, like how to avoid them, how to correct them. But the reason why I bring it up is because in that video, it was raining, it was pouring rain when we filmed that video, like literally pouring rain. I'm gonna start to prep my eyes. And um, when somebody commented, they're like, what's with the, the twinkling water <laughs> in the background? I'm like, it's not, it's not running water. It's like literally the rain was like, it was just coming down that day. And since we film in our garage that we that we've turned into like our studio, you know, the elements are like right there and it just, it's so loud when it rains and you could hear it throughout the entire um, video. Okay, so you could hear it too. Sorry about that. I know it was a little distracting. Okay, back to makeup. I'm gonna, I'm going to use the Girlactic Shadow Stick in Taupe. You guys know that I'm obsessed with these. They were in my January favorites video. They're also linked in that video too, like in the description in case you wanna check them out. But these are like, one of my favorite products to just basically like slap on my eyes and then quickly blend out. And then I have like an instant eye look that lasts all day. You can also put your powder shadows on top and like layer them on top and it works so, so well. I know Carly, my Patrick Toss stuff came this week in the mail. I was finally able to open up that box. And if you guys don't, don't follow me on Instagram or if you didn't see my stories, I am gonna do a full face of Patrick Ta soon for my channel and I cannot wait. But you know, it was a really good deal. When I purchased all that stuff, he had a promo going where if you spent a hundred bucks, which I spent way more than that, but if you spent a hundred bucks, you got a free blush palette. It was like six blushes in one palette. So I got that for free. So I actually feel like I got a pretty good deal even though I spent a fortune. But um, yeah, so stay tuned for the full face of Patrick Ta. That'll be, I'll be filming that probably next, probably next weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. But very, very excited to get that going so that I could start using those products in my day-to-day -day life. And yeah, apparently it's a Super Bowl today. <laughs> Well, Amanda, definitely check out the full face so you can get a good idea of if you want to purchase any of his products or not. I have so much stuff from that. I got so much stuff that it will give you a good idea if you, know, if you want to buy any of his stuff. Okay, so back to products I'm genuinely obsessed with. I am genuinely obsessed with this one in particular. It's Chocolate Dahlia. It's the Kaja Beauty Bento. They're like a trio of three eyeshadows. These are what I grab like 90% of the time during the week when I'm on the go and I'm in a hurry. They're so quick and easy. They're a great formula. There's not a lot of, there's actually like pretty much no fallout with these. And this one in particular is just a really pretty neutral, like everyday kind of color. So you get a shimmer on top, which I don't really use that often. This shade in the middle is like my absolute favorite. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on in just a second. And then this dark brown I use all the time for like a soft eyeliner look, which I'm gonna also use right now. But the first one I'm gonna dip into is that center shade. And I'm gonna use the same brush I just blended out that Girlactic Shadow Stick with. It's a BK Beauty 202 brush. Yeah, these are amazing. Great, great formula. So I'm gonna use this to basically set the base of my eye. So like all over my eye, 
I have not tried the Spectrum brushes. Um, I don't know why. I It's such a... Well, I'm thinking of the Katie Jane Hughes set in particular. I remember it was like a really big, big set of like... I want to say it was like 30 brushes, right? But it was a pretty, pretty pricey brush set. I have not used it. Let me know if I should, if you feel like, you know, it's worth the investment. I'm happy with the amount of brushes that I have. So I just didn't feel the need to pick it up. Um, Mitch is not here today. Guys, it's sad. You won't hear him like mumbling in the corner like we usually do. Like he's usually like, you know, tell, like whispering to me, like answer that person's question and like repeating their question so I can like, Make sure I get to them. So I don't have I don't have my moderator. I just feel very alone. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. He'll be home. I had a decent time today. He's um he has to shoot a big campaign this entire week for his his job. So he is doing a pre-light today, which basically means like you go, you set up all the lighting and you kind of plan out some shots that you know in your head that you want to do. He basically like, you know, sets up the whole shoot, tears it down, all that stuff. Um, but he's doing the pre-light today where he has to like basically pre-light and figure out what the, the lighting's gonna look like and if it's gonna be, you know, what they're looking for and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Mumbling in the corner, yep. Are you under 25? Oh my God, no, I'm not. I was gonna say I wish, but I also, I don't wish I was under 25. That was a rough time. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep using this middle shade in the Kaja Bento Beauty Box and I'm gonna switch to a A504 brush from BK Beauty. This is from the Angie Hot and Fat Flashy collection. I get very tongue tied with names sometimes. But I'm gonna dip into this and I'm going to use this to slightly smoke out the bottom lash line. This is again, one of my go-to looks and I'm just really, I can't stop using this one in particular. I have been thinking about doing a lipstick video, like a dedicated lipstick video on like the my top favorites, why I like them, who I use them on, and then also do one like a personal one. So like ones that I love for me personally, like my favorite personal lipsticks, and then also ones that are like my go-tos in my professional makeup kit, because they're gonna be very different. Um, anyway, I'll try to film that soon. There's a, I have a big list of, of video content that I want to get filmed. Um, I'm working on it. Okay, I think I missed a question or two or 15. I don't know, <laughs> maybe more. So I wanna just shift gears for a second and I wanna show you this. This is insane, like so, so good. If you guys know me and you know my work and you know my YouTube, my Instagram, you know that I love as I drop it. You know that I love the got to be glued styling spiking glue. This is so freaking good. This is obviously a, a styling gel for your hair, but it's like an industry secret. You can use it for your brows to like brush them up and keep them in place all day. So the brand got the memo and they decided to make it in like an actual, you know, like brow gel form, like with a spoolie in it and everything. So this is, the newly invented got to be spiking glue, but in an actual brow gel form. I got this on Amazon. I will definitely link it. Well, will I link it? I don't really link my live products, but I'll name it in the live. You guys can easily find it on Amazon. It's like 15 bucks or $14.99 or something like that. I still like to use the tip of the wand where it has like the most product because I have very fine very, very fine, like almost like silky brow hair. So I need a lot of it to like saturate my my brow hair to like really work properly. So if I just brushed it in like this, it's not doing much. So I need to like really get in there and deposit a ton with all my brow products, not just this one, like all of my brow gels, I use it in this technique. Why I apply it in this technique and then just kind of push it up into my brows to get that like semi-laminated effect. But this, you guys, oh my God, it is so good. I just put in an order for another one because I'm gonna put it in my professional makeup kit because I know I'll use this so, so much. And I'll probably, I'll probably switch out my Benefit 24-hour brow sitter that I 
like you know that I love because this is even better and it's like a much bigger tube like you get so much I can tell there's a lot of product in this so I feel like it's a really really good buy let's go back to eye makeup now that that's done so the eyeliner that I've truly been obsessed with lately is the Huda Beauty Life Liner. It's a quick and easy liquid liner in dark brown. But before I put that on, I'll go back to my Kaja. I'm gonna take a small detailing brush like this guy. This one is, actually, no, let's do this one. So this one's better. This is a 204 brush from BK Beauty. So I'm gonna dip into that darkest brown and just run this on the top lash line while I also try to read your comments. I think a makeup artist in particular never uses affordable products. Ooh, who are we talking about? I feel like I'm missing a lot of like <laughs> interesting stuff while I'm doing this eyeliner. Okay, so I'm just applying this like I said, in the top lash line. And I'm obsessed with how soft, but also like kind of sexy and smoky this dark brown looks as an eyeliner on the top. Guys, who are we talking about? And P.S. Has anyone tried, has anyone else since I posted that video, has anyone else tried this Lash Telescopic Lift Mascara? Like the viral one? I'm very curious. Because I've been getting some people saying that it worked really well for like their short lashes. But if you have like longer lashes, like I have long lashes, but they're very thin. So for my lash type, it just looked horrible, like horrible. But I can see why that would work for short lashes. So I'm just curious. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring the rest of this across. Oh, thank you, Carly. So sweet. You know that I used to actually get called a makeup snob like a couple years ago? Because people would see my professional makeup kit and it was all high-end, like literally except for like my mascara. I've always used like L'Oreal um, Voluminous Mascara. So I'd get called a makeup snob like a lot, but like not in a nice way. It was more like a, like a catty mean way. So I didn't appreciate it, but <laughs> I'm definitely like, like on a personal level, I am not a makeup snob. I love a ton of drugstore makeup. So it's very funny. Okay, let me just grab one more brush that I'm missing. I'm gonna now take whatever's left over on this concealer brush that I used just earlier to clean up my brows before I started this live. So it has a little leftover concealer on it. And I just like to clean just right underneath that powder wing that we applied. Just to clean up a little bit. You don't need to dip into a lot of concealer just to get that effect. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to my Huda Beauty liquid liner. This is phenomenal. And I'm gonna just trace this really tightly along the top lash line. So I can't talk for a second. I know I'm definitely far from being a makeup star, that's for sure. You know, I guess the moral of the story is people like to make really snap judgments of people. That sounds weird, but people make snap judgments of people based on like their looks, what they see initially at a first glance when they're looking at someone's makeup kit. And it's just so interesting. I would never do that. I would never like walk up to someone and be like, oh, you're, you're this or that. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm just running this along the top lash line. Sorry for the crazy look on my face. Oh, I missed that question, I'm sorry. I think you asked me something about a piercing. Okay. These are not real diamonds. But I'm glad you think they look real.
That'd be pretty baller to have real diamonds in my ear like that. Okay, so my liner is done. Now, onto mascara. This mascara from Lawless is so good. It's so freaking good, but it's definitely messy, just a forewarning. So I kind of like pump it. I get it like softened in there. It gets kind of like dried up a little bit. I don't care though. I still love this formula so much. This is a wand. It's pretty big. So you have to kind of be careful. Okay, so I'm gonna get in there and work this on. Oh, thank you, Jen. I still am planning on doing a, like a and a video, just answering some like most common, answering the most common questions that I get on YouTube and like Instagram. One of them is jewelry. I get asked about my jewelry constantly and I, I feel like a broken record sometimes when I repeat myself and I, I say like, you know, the story behind a lot of my jewelry. So I want to just, I want to film like a fun Q&A and just, you know, collect all your guys' most asked questions and put it in a YouTube video. I think it'd be kind of fun. So let me know if you want to see that. Because that would be a really easy video for me to film too, so. Oh, Lola, you're so sweet. Oh, sorry to hear that. I think ever, I think a lot of people had a hard time over the last couple of years. So I'm so happy you are loving makeup again. You know, makeup makeup is makeup should be, if anything, nothing but like a mood booster. You know, because how do you feel like when you? pop mascara on or you put like a red lipstick on, don't you feel so much better? I know it sounds like stupid and shallow, but it's just kind of the truth, you know? Yeah, makeup is super therapeutic. It's a whole, I mean, honestly, like I was very insecure as a teenager, like extremely insecure, just about like certain features and just, you know, just certain things. And like makeup for me was I was obsessed with it because it was an outlet and it was a way to like change things about my face that I didn't necessarily like. And it just gave me confidence that I didn't have. So, you know, makeup is just very near and dear to my heart for th those reasons, obviously. And obviously it's my career, but I just think makeup is like, long story short, I think makeup is very powerful. Brandy, or wait, no. What is your name? Oh my God, I need glasses. I saw Kim at the end of your name, but I thought it said Brandy. I don't have plans with Mitch today because he's working, but when he gets home, I know that we have to finish an edit on a video. So nothing but fun stuff, basically. And um, I don't know what else we'll do, but really, honestly, we just need to get ready for the work week ahead. Like we have such an intense, like both of us have such an intense, intense work week ahead of us that we just gotta get stuff done and uh, adult the rest of the day. So I want to show you guys a combo, like a lip combo that I am genuinely obsessed with. So it's Chanel lipstick in number 62. And then I'm going to pair it with a insanely cheap lip liner. This is only like four bucks. It's from LA Girl. It's the perfect precision lip liner in the shade Cafe. So I'm going to line my lips first with Cafe. This has been like my jam lately. Cafe, when I do my makeup on the go, which I will most of this week, because like I said, I have such early call times. Normally throughout the week, like I'll I'll hit the road really early to beat traffic. And then once I get to work, like once I am parked and I got my coffee and everything, I'll sit in my car and I'll just put my makeup on really quick. But one of the lip liners that I grab every single morning, or I have been grabbing every morning, is this one, it's Cafe. It's just so good. So I'm gonna line my lips real quick. And you know me, I'm gonna round up my cupid's bow. And then go on the bottom. I'm not gonna go in this way or this way. I'm just gonna keep it right here. Lola, I'm just so happy to hear that you're getting back into makeup and that's inspiring you and like making you happy because life's too short to be unhappy. So do whatever you need to do to make you happy, you know, and get your confidence back. Go buy a pretty eyeshadow palette. 
curl your lashes, put some mascara on, you know, whatever you need to do, like to get in that mindset, do it. Um, I'm going to apply the Chanel lipstick now. It's the number 62 Libre. Let's pop this on. If you know me, you know, I love Chanel lipsticks. These are like my favorite formula on earth. I love the way they smell. They smell so good. Mm. Oh my God, Lola, you're so sweet. This is why I love the lives too. I love going on lives. It's just such a nice way to like talk to you guys and not just like through, you know, DM and like through, you know, messages and comments. It's just nice to like sit down and like actually like talk to you guys like in real time. So and hear your stories and stuff. Like, I love it. It's just like I said, I know you, I've told you this before, but it's one of my favorite things about YouTube and just social media is going live and talking to you all. I'm going to go back to that dark brown shadow one more time from the Kaja beauty box or bento box. And Amanda, definitely, I will definitely film a video about my jewelry, but it's probably going to be lumped into, um, the Q&A when I film that. So I'm just gonna line this outer porter corner of my eye. I was trying to combine portion and corner at the same time <laughs> and say porner instead. Uh, lining the outer corner of my eye with that dark brown. Thank you, Amanda and Tina. I hope I wish you luck finding the lipstick because it's. I had to wait so long to get it back in stock. It's one of my favorite lipsticks like ever, but it was sold out for such a long time. It was crazy. Oddly enough, I found it again uh, at the airport at like a Chanel airport. I walked in, I was like, hey, do you have number 62? And it was like the only one there. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, score. Um, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I can't believe it's an hour has flown by in like literally 2.5 seconds. I know I missed a million questions and I'm so sorry, but please forgive me. I was on my own today and I didn't have any help from Mitch. But like I said earlier, just leave me your question again in the comments of this live. So my live will be saved just like they all are. I'll make sure I link or not link. I'll make sure I put all the names of the products I use in the description, but then re-ask me your question there. Cause I'll be able to like, if I don't get to, get to it right away, I'll definitely have time like throughout the week, like here and there to like answer some of the questions. So leave it there and I can always go back. And if I miss it, Mitch will be like, you need to answer this person's question because he's really good at that. But let me set my makeup. I still love this one from MAC. It's the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Setting Spray. So I'm gonna close my eyes for two seconds. Hang on. But to recap, this was my makeup look using products that I am genuinely obsessed with. So I had so much fun. Let me know, like I said, if I missed questions, let me know in the comments and re-ask re -ask them for me to go back to and answer. Um, and Jen, I keep asking Mitch to like come and say hi and like jump on camera, but he's like, no, no, I look like crap or I'm like this or I look tired or whatever, whatever his excuses. He's silly, but um, I look forward to seeing you guys next Sunday. I'll try to think of another fun theme for our live. Stay tuned for my video next Saturday. It's really going to be a good one. It's going to be really, really helpful. I'm telling you for people, for anyone who's just, just starting out or just doesn't want to look like they have a lot of makeup on, like these tips are going to be curated for you, the non-makeup wearer. Um, but also let me know if you watched my video yesterday on eye makeup mistakes. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. Enjoy the Super Bowl if you're going to watch it. Enjoy work, whatever you're doing. Hope you have a great day. Thank you so, so much for joining me and I'll miss you guys and I'll see you next Sunday. Wish me luck this week on my early call times too. I'm gonna be so tired, but uh, I'll, we'll get through it. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye.